Okay, so what I'm doing is I just pulled the edge back and I'm going along the inside and just popping the case open. Once you get the side of the case open, you just want to keep working it. Be careful because some pieces are sharp. But when you get to it, you'll see that there are six 18650 cells right there. Pop the case open, and there you have it. Now from here, you'll find some tape along the edges, as well as a couple of lead wires. Um, I like to cut, well, like, you need to cut these all off, as well as this circuit board. Be careful when you're getting into the actual case itself, because you don't want to short anything out or touch any metal. So there the back jacket came off, no problem. And I have six more batteries. So I'll just simply... Bend the end off, take the circuit boards away, break the contacts because they're all soldered together. If you see here, so just pull it apart, and then I'll take a little needle nose and I'll just pull that pin off and flatten down these little contact points where it's welded or where it's soldered together but from there that is an 18650 battery and by comparison I have an E-Fest or I did have an E-Fest oh there it is This is a standard EFS 2000 milliamp IMR18650, and this is the battery that I just pulled out. Identical in size, identical in diameter. You can read the serial number on here, and then Google search it and find out your battery information for you sub ohmers. Um, most of the time in these laptop batteries, you'll find that they have a single cell that's burned out and doesn't, doesn't work properly, or a majority of the time, it's just the circuitry that has the problem, or the wiring is messed up somehow. Um, and even more times, more often, um, the laptop's just old and tired, and somebody bought a new one, so... The battery is still fine. As long as you're careful, you can stretch it all out, strip it apart, and uh, get all the pieces you want off of it. But that literally took me about four minutes to get the battery apart. And uh, as you can see, I have six free cells that normally would go up. Oh, cut myself a little. And it never works right unless you bleed over it. See? Be careful. This little metal is sharp. But, uh, yeah, take your time, do it right, and uh, get yourself some free batteries. And don't let it go in the land. Thanks a bunch. Have a good one.